Okay, I, I know you can't quite see my um, top of my head. So we lengthen up, pull your belly button to the spine. Imagine you're 10 notches on your belt and you're just pulling your belly button to the spine, just a notch number three, just gently squeezing your glutes. Lengthen up, micro bend in the knees, knees are hip width apart, and tr really try to relax your shoulders down your back pockets. So we just start with some arm circles. Sorry, you can't see my arms there. Squeezing your shoulder blades together. Big circles, only if you want to, tiptoes, soles to your feet. Focus on a point out in front, so it helps with your balance when you come up onto your tiptoes. We might want to stay on your tiptoes. Gently squeeze the glutes, pull your belly button to the spine, and breathe, squeezing those glutes and back to centre. You're going to just hold on to your head, just the weight of your arm and tilt your head over to the right. Thumb your fist, lengthen your arm down to the floor and away. So I feel like I'm a cracker. I'm being pulled by the ground and the head and I'm lengthening through my shoulder joints. Look down at the floor. Just feeling a nice deep stretch in your neck and the top of the shoulders. Only if you want to, up onto your tiptoes. So we pull that belly button to the spine, squeeze your glutes, really helps with your balance. You really anchor yourself and back to centre. We'll do the other side, just the weight of your arm, then tug on your neck, tilt your head over to the left, feeling a nice deep stretch, thumb your fist, lengthen it down to the floor and away. So I'm a cracker, I'm being pulled in two opposite directions, look at the floor, only if you want to, tiptoes. Pull your belly button to the spine, squeeze glutes, lengthen, breathe, and back to centre. You're going to increase your stance slightly wider than the hip width apart, hold on to your hips, lengthen your left arm up to the ceiling, up and over, micro bend of the knees, squeeze the glutes, pull your belly button to the spine, push into that right hip, nice deep stretch in the hip there and the waist. Level two, you don't have to do this if you get pressure in the lumbar spine, you lengthen your arm down your thigh, squeeze your glutes, pull your belly button to the spine, and use your core to bring yourself back to centre. So I'm pulling my belly button to the spine, lengthening, squeezing my glutes. So you really feel you're working your waist there. One more, lengthen up and over, push into your hip, your right hip, stick out your left, really relax. See if you can come a bit deeper, level two, lengthen your arm down your thigh. Squeeze your glutes, pull your belly button to the spine. And again, pull your belly button to the spine, use your core, squeeze your glutes, relax your arm, so you can feel you're really working your waist. We go to the other side, right arm up and over. So don't lean forward or back, you're in between two panes of glass. Push into the left hip, stick out the left, the right. Relax, level two, lengthen your arm down your thigh. Squeeze your glutes, pull your belly button to the spine, don't lean forward or back. Relax the arm and lengthen as you squeeze your glutes, pulling your belly button to the spine. So you can really feel your core's doing the work, really work your waist there. One more, lengthen up and over, push into the hips, stick out the right hip, relax if you can come deeper, level two, lengthen your arm down your thigh. And again, lengthen as you come back to centre, squeeze glutes, pull your belly button to the spine, try to relax the arm and really feel it in the core as you come back to centre. Just roll your shoulders, squeeze your shoulder blades together, we're going to do two roll downs. The first Pilates stance, and the second, we're diving over the ball with pick up the band. Pilates stance, hold on to your hips. Remember, nice straight back, pull your belly button to the spine, hinge forward, slightly look forward, keeps your shoulders down your back pockets. Stick out your glutes, pull your belly button to the spine, micro bend in the knees. So, can you see a nice straight back? So, I'm going to hinge until I cannot stretch my hamstrings and my glutes anymore. Now I'm going to let the top of my body hang. It's okay to hold on to your thighs if you get tension in the lumbar spine. Push into the hips, sorry, push into the heels, tailbone up to the ceiling. Some of you might be resting on your block. So try to get your tailbone up to the ceiling a little bit more naturally, your head will come closer to your toes. Micro bend in the knees, let the top of your body hang. Hang like a rag doll, squeeze the glutes, Pull your belly button to the spine, roll up one vertebrae at a time. The more you let your body hang like a rag doll, the more you feel it in your core. Big electrified beach ball, stem Pilates stance. 
So you're diving over the beach ball, pull your belly button to the spine. It's electrified, so you don't want to touch it. So big, a uh, uh, big candy cane there, switch the electrical. Now I'm hanging like a rag doll. I can really feel that in my core. You're pushing into your heels, Pilates stance if you can. Try to get your tailbone up to the ceiling a little bit more. Naturally, my head comes closer to my toes. You're going to hold on to your band and you're going to lengthen your arm out to the right, up to the ceiling. If your head can follow your hand, great. If not, just relax your head and neck. Pushing into the left hand, lengthen your arms away from each other. Don't twist the hips. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen that arm back to centre. Left arm out to the side, up to the ceiling, push into that right hand. Head follows your hand if you can. If you get tension in the neck, just let your head rest. And lengthen, lengthen, lengthen the arm back to centre. Hold on to the band. Let the top of your body hang. Squeeze your glutes. Really pull your belly button to the spine. Really hang. Feel your core is restacking your spine. And back to centre. We're up into mountain. Sorry, can't see my arms. Tiptoes if you can, or glue your ankles together on your tiptoes. Mountain. Prayer your hands together. It doesn't matter if you're up, your hands don't prayer together. Arms in line with your ears. Mountain. Take on tension the band, shoulders down your back pockets, lengthen. And back to prayer. Come down to the soles of your feet. You can keep your feet glued together, your ankles glued together, or regularly stand. Hopefully you can see me. My arms are um, shoulder width apart now. We do the trapezius stretch. So you're going to lengthen your left arm behind you. You're going to touch the back of your left leg as you lengthen your right arm up to the ceiling. Look over your left shoulder. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing there. Squeeze the glutes only if you want to. Tiptoes really challenges your balance. I really feel I've switched on my core there. And lengthen back to centre. My arms are shoulder width apart. We do the other side. Right arm all the way. Lengthen to the back of your right leg. Left arm lengthens up to the ceiling. Look over your right shoulder. I'm on my tiptoe, so I'm squeezing my glutes. Pulling my belly button to the spine. And lengthen. Lengthen back to centre. Just roll your shoulders, squeeze your shoulder blades together. We're going to try a little bit of balance now. So you lengthen your right arm behind, your arm uh, lengthens down your right thigh. Lengthen your left arm up to the ceiling next to your left ear. So on one straight line, we've done this one before. Keep your left arm next to your left ear. Your right arm down your right thigh, a little bend in your left knee, and you're going to balance. So you might take a little bit of pressure out your big toe there, staying in one straight ruler. Or you might come a bit deeper, deeper, keep that arm next to your left ear. Right arm lengthens down your thigh, the aim is T. So just have a rest and come back into position. Keep the hip, hips nice and square and back to centre. we we'll swap over. So my left arm runs down my left thigh, right arm lengthens next to my right ear. So I take a little bit of pressure out my big toe, lengthen through the joints, keep your shoulders down your back pockets, focus on the point out in front, helps with your balance. If, you're, if you fall, just come back into position. So the aim is to get deeper and deeper into T, lengthen your arms away from each other and your legs, and back to centre. Just roll out your shoulders, squeeze your shoulder blades to get together, and we come down to the mat. So we're just going to do a version of the saw today, so you're going to sit on your block. So I just want you to feel nice and comfortable. So, so this is comfortable for me. It might be more comfortable to have your legs closer together or your legs bent, because we're just using the upper, the upper part of the body for this one. Then our arms are a nice ruler. So remember, don't hunch up your shoulders, shoulders down your back pockets, and you lengthen your arms away from each other. Hands in line with your shoulders, and you stay in a ruler position. You don't do this, you stay in a ruler position. Only if you want to, you can, if you really want to go for it, you can have the band taking on tension of the band. I'm not going to. So lengthen. I'm always trying to touch my head on the ceiling, relaxing my shoulders, pulling my belly button to the spine. So I'm a nice big ruler, 
And I'm going to twist over to my left, your left. Pull your belly button to the spine, sit tall. Look at over your left shoulder. My arms are still a ruler. And back to centre. Sit tall, relax the shoulders. So I'm sticking my head on the ceiling. So lengthen those arms. Feel like you're lengthening through the shoulder joints. I'm one ruler. My arms are one ruler. I look over, you're going to look over your right shoulder. Sit up. I'm going to twist as much as I can. I'm a ruler. And back to centre. We do a few more. So it's really good waist trim, a really nice deep stretch. Keep those arms in line with your shoulders. And I'm twisting over to your left. And look, you look over your left shoulder. Twist as much as you can, ruler. Sit up, pull your belly button to the spine. Those arms are one straight ruler. Back to centre. Going to twist another over to your right. Look over your right shoulder. Sit up tall, pull your belly button to the spine. Arms raking now. We're going to do one more either side. Keep those hands in line with your shoulders. Twisting over to your left. Looking over your left shoulder. Twist as much as you can. Sit tall. But I'm really sitting as tall as I can, sticking my head on the ceiling. Back to centre. One more. Arms raking now. We're stretching them out. And we're twisting over to your right, sit tall, pull your belly button to the spine, look over that right shoulder, twist as much as you can, so you can twist a little bit more, and back to centre, gosh, that one, got, that one got me really hot. Okay, just hold on to your heart and just circling, oh, the sofa's in the way, circle with your left, just stretching it out, hold on to your heart with your left, and circle your right. Just washing out any tension. And back to centre. So we're going to just do a spine stretch now. So make sure your feet are mat width apart. Flex your feet if you can. You're either going to walk your hands forward, keeping your hands in between your legs, or you lengthen your arms up to the ceiling, shoulders down your back pockets. So make sure those arms are in line with your ears. Hinge forward, nice straight back, shoulders down your back pockets. I'm being pulled by a piece of string from the crown of the head. Lengthen from the hip joints. Everyone's hands come down to the mat and I walk my hands forward. I'm being pulled by a piece of string, feeling the deep stretch in the muscles in the back of my legs, but I'm elongating my spine and just roll back up. We do one more. Lengthen your arms up to the ceiling. Arms next to my ears, unless it's too uncomfortable, put your hands in between your feet, in between your legs. Hinge forward, being pulled by a piece of string from the crown of the head. So sort of feel the length coming from the hip joints. So I'm feeling a deep stretch of my hamstrings there, deep stretch of my glutes. I'm being pulled by a piece of string from the crown of the head, feeling the length of my spine. Hands come down to the mat, flex the feet and walk the hands forward. See if you can come an extra millimetre. And then roll back up, one vertebrae at a time, and back to centre. Our feet are hip width apart. So we're going to do the, a few roll downs and roll ups. So either put the ball underneath your lumbar spine. So I'm going to just take you through it. Either, we've done this before, lean back, and then you roll down to the ball, looking at your belly button, and you roll up. With or without the band. And that's level one, that's level two. So you roll down to the ball and you come back up. But some of you might be able to roll all the way down to the floor, lengthen your arms over your head and roll back up. So you choose if you want the ball underneath the lumbar spine, it's there for assistance. So we lengthen up, shoulders down your back pockets. You can roll down holding on to the band, level one, or two, or three. So I'm gonna do level one, lengthen up. So I lean back by an inch, and I'm tucking in my pelvis, relax your feet and legs, rolling back, look at your belly button, tip, dip your chin to your chest. Tuck your tailbone under, breathe, relax the feet, relax the legs. Squeeze the glutes as you roll down to the ball, or you roll down to the floor with absolutely no momentum, very slowly, those with the not using a band, you can lengthen your arms over your head. Squeeze the glutes with no momentum. Slowly, you come back up. 
As soon as you start using momentum, we don't use momentum in Pilates. You want to use your core. We'll just do a few more, relax the feet and legs. Lean back, Arlinch. Tuck your pelvis, C care of your spine, look down at your belly button, scoop your pelvis, relax your feet and legs. You're going to slowly roll down breathing, relax those legs. So you either roll down to the ball and slowly roll up, or some of you will roll down to the mat. If you're at level one, you lengthen your arms over your head with absolutely no momentum, very slowly, squeeze the glutes, pull your belly button to the spine, you roll back up. Don't want to use momentum, you want to use your core. We're going to do one more. Lean back, arm inch, tuck in the pelvis, turn your spine into a wheel. You want every single vertebrae to hit the mat. So I'm tucking my tailbone under, looking at my belly button. Breathe. Rolling down to the ball that's nestled in your little lumbar spine. Or you roll down to the floor. Lengthen the arms over the head if you're at level one. With no momentum, you come back up. Your feet are mat width apart. You lengthen your arms up to the ceiling. Let go of the band as we do, do one more spine stretch. In poor bar piece of spring from the crown of the head, really relax. See if you can just walk hands forward an extra few millimeters. Lengthen from the hip joint and roll back up one vertebrae at a time and back to seated. Your feet are hip width apart again. Remove the ball. You might want to have assistance of the band. Again, we're just rolling down level one, two, or three. I'll have a level two. So hit every single vertebrae on the mat if you can. Teach your spine to be flexible. Lean back by an inch. Tuck in your pelvis, dip your chin to your chest, look at your belly button, and tuck the tailbone under. Squeeze the glutes, breathe. We slowly roll down. One vertebrae at a time. Breathe. And when you get down to the mat, have your knees to your chest and rock from side to side, crossing your ankles, pulling your knees apart if you can. Now keep on hugging the left leg, lengthen the right leg away. Completely relax. See if you can get your left knee to your left shoulder, lengthen through the right hip joint, but completely relax. Now see if you can bring your left knee over to your right shoulder. So I'm feeling stretching the glutes there. You'll be stretching your piriformis muscle that sits underneath your glutes. Holding onto your hamstring, calf muscle, your ankle, lengthen your leg up to the ceiling, pushing into your heel. Start surfing your ankle one way, then the other, hugging the length and leg to the chest. Progression, only if you want to, you float your head and shoulders. See if you can get your knee on your nose. So I'm stretching the muscles in the back of my uh, legs, and now I'm working my core. Bend the left knee, lengthen it away, and hug the right knee to the chest, lengthen through the left hip joint, really relax. Right knee to right shoulder, completely relax. Breathe. See if you can get your right knee to your left shoulder, feeling a nice deep stretch in the glutes, stretching your piriformis, and then hold on to your hamstring, calf muscle, your ankle, not the back of your knee as you push into your heel, hug the length and leg to the chest, and circle the ankle one way than the other. Progression, you don't have to do this. Float up your head and shoulders, trying to get your nose onto your knee. So you feel a nice, um, you can feel that you're working your core. Bring your right knee to tabletop, T your arms. Now, before we bring our knee across our body, everyone pull your belly button to the spine, stick your whole rib cage onto the mat. It's okay to drop that foot. So my core is totally switched on now. So just melt that rib cage into the mat. Relax that right leg as you bring it across your body, looking in the opposite direction. Nice lumbar spine stretch there. Shoulders stay glued to the mat. Lengthen that left leg away. Completely relax the right foot and leg. Relax it. Squeeze the glutes. Pull your belly button to the spine. I've relaxed that right leg. So I'm using my core to bring my right knee back to center and we swap over. 
Left knee taped off is okay to drop that foot if you get pressure in the lumbar spine. But before your knee comes across your body, pull the belly button to the spine, melt your rib cage into the mat. And my core is totally solid now. And I bring my left knee across my body as I look in the opposite direction. Shoulders stay glued to the mat. This is my tight side. So I'm gonna put a little bit of pressure on my knee. Just helps me deepen my rotational stretch there. Totally relax and bring your left knee back to center and back into supine. So you're gonna remove your block and we're gonna go straight into a bridge. Remove your block, feet close to your seat bones. First of all, we're gonna do the pelvic clock. So you have a marble that's in between your hip joints. And you're going to roll the marble to your belly button, 12 o'clock. Roll the marble over to your left hip, three o'clock. To your pubic bone, you're arching your spine, six o'clock, over to nine o'clock, right hip, back to 12. Go around the clock face again, three o'clock. Pubic bone, six, nine o'clock, 12. Come in the opposite direction, nine o'clock, six o'clock. Really arch that spine, three o'clock. Imprint your spine, 12. One more, eight to nine o'clock, six o'clock, three o'clock and back to 12. Roll the marble back to the, um, in between your hip joints, we're back into neutral. So you're gonna put, make sure your feet are close to your seat bones, push into your heels, lengthen your knees away, tuck the tailbone under, hips up to the ceiling. So sweep the tailbone, protects the lumbar spine. So we're gonna come up and down in one unit. Now lengthen your knees away. So you're going to come down in one unit, spine tap, smack, tap, and come up in one unit. See if you can have a rest and come a little bit higher. Down in one unit, tap, then rest on the mat and come up in one unit. Tuck the tailbone under, have a little rest and come a little bit higher. Down in one unit, tap, and then up in one unit. If you think you can't come any further, you have a rest and come a little bit further. If you want to progress, you lengthen your arms over your head as you come down in one unit, tap, and up in one unit. Have a little rest and see if you can come a little bit higher. Progression, tiptoes, you come down in one unit and up in one unit. Have a little rest and see if you can come a little bit higher, lengthen the knees away, squeeze the glutes. Come down in one unit, lengthen and lift those arms over your head and up in one unit. Push into your heels unless you're on your tiptoes. Have a little rest, see if you can come a little bit further. We're just going to do one more, come down in one unit, tap, and come up in one unit. Scoop the pelvis, tuck the tailbone under, protect the lumbar spine, come a little bit higher. So you've got that droplet of water on your hip, in between your hip joints, which you're rolling from left to right. So I'm slowly going to roll my vertebrae down, one at a time from top to bottom, as I roll my droplet of water past my right hip, past my left hip. And I roll down one vertebrae at a time. Keep those arms active, lengthen and lift it over your head. Rolling my droplets of water from left to right hip as my spine comes down one vertebrae at a time. Hug your knees to your chest and rock from side to side. Or some of you might, I don't know if I can do this here, do the Joseph Pilates rollover. The wall is in the way of it. And we roll down one vertebrae at a time. Put the block back underneath your head. We're going to go straight into bicycle. Have your knees to your chest. You can do this with one or two legs. So you lengthen your legs up to the ceiling unless you're like this, you're doing a one leg bicycle. If not, lengthen both legs up to the ceiling and we slowly start to pedal. Slow and controlled. Slow and controlled. Now the aim, is for those cycles to be as big as possible, but slow and controlled. So you might do little cycles with your legs lengthened up to the ceiling, or you might start to do very slow and controlled big circles. Pull the belly button to the spine. Can you see I'm lengthening one leg as the other leg bends? Slow and controlled. Don't do it fast. If you're finding it all too easy, you lengthen your arms up to the ceiling. 
If it's still too easy, you lengthen your arms over your head. If that's too easy, you interlace your fingers behind your head and float up your head and shoulders, pull your belly button to the spine and look at your belly button. Slow and controlled circles. Swap over legs for those who are doing one leg circle. I want your circles to be, uh, your cycles to be very slow. Can you see each cycle should be about four seconds? My core is burning now. Legs are aching. Let's just do a couple more. Slow and controlled. One more. And then just hug your knees to your chest and rock from side to side. Grab your ball. I haven't got my ball today. I use my towel. Grab your ball. Put your ball between your knees to your arms. We do this one every week. And we're going to really squeeze the ball. Choose to have your feet on the floor or up to tabletop. It's okay to drop your feet. But really squeeze the ball. Lengthen the arms where it is. Hardly any pressure under the soles of your feet. And squeeze the ball over to the left as you look to the right. Don't drop your knees, keep them active, keep the core active. Squeeze the ball as you lengthen out your top leg, squeezing the ball, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Bend the knee, squeeze the ball back to center and squeeze the ball over to the right, squeezing the ball and lengthen out the top leg, lengthen, relax the foot, squeeze that ball, bend the knee and squeeze the ball back to center. You're on thin ice, pull the belly button to the spine, melt the rib cage into the mat. Some of you might come up to tabletop, it's okay to drop your feet. Squeeze the ball over to the left, never drop the knees, you're switching off your core, keep them active. Squeeze the ball as you lengthen out your top leg, arms lengthened at T, look in the opposite direction. Bend the knee, squeeze the ball back to center, squeeze the ball over to the right, look to the left and lengthen out the top leg. Slow and controlled, squeeze, lengthen, keep on squeezing. Bend the knee and squeeze the ball back to center. Hug your knees to your chest and rock from side to side unless you want to try, oh, the wall is in the way. One of your Joseph Pilates roll over and the sofa's in the way. Drop back underneath your head, hug your knees to your chest and then a full body stretch. Lengthen your toes and fingers away from each other, melt your rib cage into the mat. And then we come over and do a side exercise. So the side exercise today is single leg to double leg lift. So you might have a weight in your hands, you might have a loop band around your thighs. And we're going to lengthen the lift one leg and lengthen your arm over your head, or you lengthen and lift double legs, and then we pulse. So I'm gonna take you through the progressions. So if you find you're wobbling all over the place, you can bring your bottom leg slightly out in front, but the aim is one ruler. So my top ankle is in line with my hips, in line with my shoulder. I'm in one straight line, unless that bottom leg is slightly lengthened out in front for stability. So first of all, we're going to lengthen and lift our top leg. Your hand can be in front or your hand can be on your thighs. So you might not even want to incorporate your arm and you pulse for five, four, three, two, one. Lengthen. It's always lengthening back to centre. Hips are always stacked. Or you can incorporate your arm. So remember, stick to the single leg lift if you're finding it too difficult to incorporate your arm, which maybe you're carrying a weight. So lengthen and lift, squeeze the glutes, pull your belly button to the spine, lengthen and lift that leg as high as it can go, and you pulse for five. Keep lengthen and lift it as your arm comes back to your top thigh, and top leg lengthens back to centre, single leg lift. So I lengthen my top leg longer than the bottom, I lengthen and lift, lengthen and lift as high as it can go, squeeze the glutes, relax the foot. Then I lengthen my arm and lengthen and lift it over my head. I don't rest my arm. And I pulse for five, four, three, two, one. Hips are stacked. Pelvis is vertical. Don't open up those hips. 
Top hand comes to top thigh, lengthen the leg back to center. If that feels good for you, stay at that level. If not, glue your legs together. Double leg lift, squeeze the glutes. Squeeze your legs together, squeeze your thighs together. You lengthen and lift the top leg as you lengthen and lift the arm over your head. Pulse for five, four, three, two, one. Crimes, lengthen and lift the bottom leg a bit higher. Lengthen the arm back to top leg. Top leg meets bottom leg. I'm not on the floor yet. Squeeze the thighs together, squeeze the glutes and back to centre. So I squeeze double leg lift, squeeze, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the thighs, lengthen and lift the top leg as you lengthen and lift your arm over your head. Five, four, three, two, one. Stay with nice vertical, vertical pelvis, hips are stacked. Hand comes to thigh, top leg meets bottom leg. See if you can come a little bit higher and then back to centre. I'm going to come to double leg lift now, a single leg lift, I'm having a rest. Lengthen, keep the arm lengthened and lifted as you pulse for five, four, three, two, one. Lengthen back to centre. Let's just do one more, squeezing the thighs together. Squeezing your legs together, like this is double leg lift or you might, might be doing single leg. Five, four, three, two, one. Lengthen the arm back to, set to your top thigh. Top leg meets bottom leg. See if you can get that bottom leg a bit higher. Squeeze the glutes, pull your belly back into the spine. And back to centre and just pass it out. So we're going to go straight into open book. I might have a swing, see if I can come a bit further forward. Okay, so you're holding on to your band, your weight or both or nothing at all. I'm holding on to my pair of tights here. So, length, so make sure you're on the edge of your block. It's really important. Arms lengthened out in front, hands in line with shoulders. You lengthen and lift your top leg diagonally across at hip height. Unless you don't want to incorporate your leg, just keep it lengthened diagonally across. You lengthen the top arm, log of your bottom. Head follows your hand as you swing your leg in front. You're going to have a little rest so you can come a little bit deeper, lengthen those arms away from each other. And as you close your book, you swing your leg behind at hip height. Stay at hip height. Don't drop the foot. Keep the top leg continuously lengthened. Keep those arms lengthened. So I lengthen my top arm, lengthen my bottom, head follows my hand, and I swing my leg in front, in front at hip height. Have a little rest to see if I can come a little bit deeper. So I close my arm, I swing my leg behind. Have a little rest, see if I can come a little bit deeper. One more. I have a little rest, see if I can come a bit deeper, lengthen my arms away from each other. Lengthen, lengthen, swing the legs, stay at hip height, don't drop the foot. Now you're going to hold it. Let's hold it for four, three, two, one, and bend the knee and just pat it out. We're going to go straight into another bridge again. And this bridge is going to be, oh, what did I say for this bridge this morning? Oh, yes, we're going to step our feet out today. So I'm just going to show you. Remember, if, yours, if you find it too easy, you can always put that resistance band over your hips. So today, you might do a big step or a little step. You step your foot out. Don't drop the bottom or rock your hips. You step your foot out to a point that's good for you. So it might be one centimetre or it might, you might be able to fully lengthen your legs. Now, this is harder to step your foot out. So you just come to a point that's good for you. You might step your foot out one at a time by a centimetre or maybe fully extend your leg. But just do a... a Lengthen your leg to a point that's good for you. Feet placed to my seat bones. I'm pushing into my heels, lengthening my knees away. Hip width apart. Tuck the tailbone under. Hips up to the ceiling. Push into the palms. Now I'm stepping my right leg away. It might be by a few seconds or a few centimetres. Or you might be able to fully extend your leg. Don't drop your bottom or rock your hips. And I'm stepping left away. And back to centre. Lengthen the arms up to the ceiling, over your head, lengthen your knees and arms away from each other. And I'm stepping out my right. Don't drop your bottom. I dropped my bottom a little bit there. 
I'm going to reduce my range of motion. Stepping out my left, pushing into the right heel. Keep the arms lengthened and lifted over your head as you tuck in your pelvis, see care of your spine. Roll down your vertebrae one at a time. Lengthen your arms back to centre and either start that bridge again or you come into your crunch. Hold on to your hamstrings or lengthen your arms out to the side and you come into your bench. Stick out to your chest. Either hold on to your hamstrings. Level one, lengthen arms out to the side. Level two, lengthen the legs up to the ceiling. Hold on to your hamstrings. Keep on sticking out that chest. Or level two, your arms lengthen up to the ceiling too. Bent. Slowly roll down. Breathe. One vertebrae at a time. Very good. And back to centre. We're going to do one more. Feet close to the seat bones. Push into your heels. Some of you might have that resistance band around your hips or push into your palms as well. Tuck the tailbone under, hips up to the ceiling. I'm going to step out my left foot. Try not to drop the bottom or rock the hips. Step, step out my right and back to centre. Arms up to the ceiling, lengthen and lift them over the head. I'm stepping out my left, pushing into my right. Heel, stepping out my right, pushing into my left heel. Keep the arms lengthened and lifted over the head as you tuck in your pelvis, see care of your spine. Roll down one vertebrae at a time. Lengthen the arms back to centre. Quite finish off your final bridge. You'll come with me. You'll crunch. You'll bend, stick out your chest. Hold on to your hamstrings for support if necessary. Teaser. Bent. And slowly, slowly, slowly breathe. Slowly, slowly roll down. And hug your knees to your chest and rock from side to side, crossing your ankles, pulling your knees apart. And full body stretch. Lengthen your toes and fingers away from each other. Melt your rib cage into the mat. Pull your belly button to the spine. And slowly, when you're ready, you're going to roll to the other side, very slowly. And we do our single and double leg lift again. So a one straight line. If you find you're wobbling all over the place, bring your bottom leg slightly out in front. But I'm a ruler, ankle, hips, shoulders in alignment. Whatever you're doing Pilates, you always feel like you're being pulled by a piece of string and you're keeping space between your ears and your shoulders. So we start with single leg lift. You don't have to incorporate the arm. Lengthen and lift, lengthen, lengthen, relax the foot, lengthen and lift. And you pulse for five, four, three, two, one. Squeeze these glutes, pull the belly button to the spine. Helps with your balance and back to centre. You can stay at that level. You can come with me with a weight in your hand if you want to. Lengthen and lift, lengthen and lift as you lengthen your arm over your head. Keep the arm active. Don't rest your hand. And you pulse for five, four, three, two, one. Lengthen that arm back to your top thigh. Top leg comes back down to the floor. So I, so I lengthen my top leg, long from the bottom. I lengthen and lift, lengthen and lift, lengthen and lift. Relax the foot, feeling it in the glutes and the thighs. Pull your belly button to the spine, squeeze your glutes. Don't rest that arm, keeping it lengthened and lifted as you pulse. Can you see I've got total stability there? Pulsing for five, lengthen and lift that leg. Keep that leg lengthened and lifted. Hand meets thigh, top leg comes to bottom leg. Stay at that level. Some of you might want to come with me. Double leg lift. Squeeze the glutes, pull your belly button to the spine, squeeze your thighs together. Lengthen and lift, top leg. Arm comes over. Lengthen the lift, bottom leg a little bit more if you can. Pulse for five, four, three, two, one. Lengthen your arm back to centre, top leg. Hand meets top leg. Top leg meets bottom leg. Oh, I'm wobbling a bit and back to centre. So you choose if you want to do single or double leg lift. Remember, you don't have to incorporate the arm. 
Or some of you might have a weight in your hands. Five, four, three, two, one. Lengthen back, centre, top hand. Comes to top thigh, top leg meets bottom leg. Or your top leg comes down to the floor. We're going to do one more. Lengthen the leg. And squeezing my glutes, pulling my belly button to the spine, really anchoring myself. I'm really thinking about absolute stability. Being pulled by a piece of string from the crown of the head, always. Always pulling my belly button to the spine, always tucking my tailbone under. And back to centre, and just pat it out. So we go straight into our open book. So get your equipment. You might have a band to weight or both or nothing at all. Arms are in front. You're always on the edge of your block. Knees are 90-90 in front. Hands are in line with shoulders. Lengthen and lift the top leg diagonally across, unless you're resting. You lengthen your top arm, lengthen your bottom, lengthen. And you open up your book as you swing your leg in front. Now, I didn't think I can come any further. I'm going to have a little rest, rest those muscles, and I've just increased my range of motion, I'd say by two centimetres there. Swing your leg at hip height. Don't drop the foot. Swing your head, leg at hip height. Come a little bit deeper. Open up, lengthen, lengthen. Arms lengthened all the time. Top leg is lengthened all the time. You're lengthening through the joints. Have a little rest. Come a bit deeper. Swing the leg behind. Lengthen, 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 opening the hip flexor there. One more. Keep that leg at hip height. So you really want to work your glutes still. Come here a bit deeper. Swing the leg behind. We're going to hold it here. So we're really working our glutes. Let's hold it for four, three, two, one, bend the knee, and just pat it out. So we're going to go straight to prone, but those who struggle in prone, you're going to do four, for those who struggle in prone, four point kneeling, and you're doing the classic length and then lift, opposite leg and arm, thumb up to the ceiling, heel up to the ceiling, lengthen back to the mat, tap, keep those limbs lengthened, thumb up to the ceiling, heel up to the ceiling, Hold for three seconds, lengthen the leg back, centre tap. You do three on each side. The rest of us, we're doing a version of a swimming. Well, it, it's a bit like the swimming. So you're going to rest your hands on your diamond. You're resting your forehead on your diamond hands and your feet stay mat width apart and your top of your feet are glued to the mat. So I'm, you're going to lengthen and lift your head and sternum. Don't squeeze your glutes, pull your belly button to the spine. Lengthen and lift your head and sternum. Try not to push into the mat with your hands. You're using the muscles in your back. Squeeze your glutes. You're going to lengthen your left arm in front and you're swinging your left hand all the way to your left thigh. Stay lengthened and lifted. You swing your arm in front and then your back into your diamond shape and back to center. So your hands stay on the mat. Again, so I'm squeezing my glutes, pushing your pubic vein into the mat. So don't push into your hands, use your glutes, your upper muscles in your upper back to lengthen and lift head and sternum. I lengthen my right arm in front. I swing my right hand all the way to my right thigh. I'm still keeping my hand on the mat on the floor, swing my arm in front, back to diamond, and back down to the floor. I'm doing nothing with my feet today, apart from pushing them into the mat. Progression. I lengthen and lift my head and sternum, and you're doing a left salute. Squeeze the boot. See if you can come up a bit higher without pushing into the right hand. Lengthen left arm in front. Swing the left arm all the way to the left thigh, I've lengthened and lifted. I'm squeezing my glutes, then pushing to the right hand. Lengthen all the way back to centre and back to left salute. Back down to the mat, swap over. Right salute, right hand glutes to my forehead. Then float up your feet, then push into the left hand. Lengthen out the right arm. Swing that right arm all the way to your right thigh. 
Lengthen your arm back to center and back to slute and back down to the mat, squat over. Left slute, push into those tops of the feet. Come a bit higher, don't push into your right hand. Lengthen your arm in front, lengthen. Lengthen all the way down to left thigh. Lengthen, lengthen back to center. Left salute, and you come down to the mat, swap over. Lengthen and lift. Let's do one more either side. Lengthen the arm in front. Lengthen the arm all the way to the right thigh. I'm trying not to push into my hands here. I'm using the muscles of my upper back and my glutes to do the work. Squeeze the glutes. This is the final one. Lengthen and lift. Arm in front, swing the leg round to the thigh. Swing back, lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Salute. Back down to the mat. Capture your ear, your arms. Rock your hips from side to side, just washing out any tension. Your arms are at capital E, elbows in line with your shoulders. We're going to do lizard, then cobra. So squeeze the glutes, pull your belly button to the spine. I roll the marble forward with my nose. Lengthen and lift your head and sternum. Shoulders down your back pockets, chest out to the sun. Now I'm pushing into my left hand, looking over my left shoulder, right elbow glued to the mat. Look at your left foot. Bend your right knee. Maybe you can look at your left glute. The aim is to look at your left foot. Once you've looked at your left foot, you want to look at your left glute. And then lengthen, lengthen back to centre. Feet and mat width apart. Roll the marble forward, lengthen the lift, head and sternum. Squeeze my glutes, pulling my belly button to the spine. Shoulders down my back pockets. Try not to push into your hands yet. Now you push into the right hand. Look over your right shoulder. Look at your right foot. Left over, elbow glued to the mat. Bend the left knee. And lengthen, lengthen back to centre. Stay at capital E, unless you want to deepen the spinal extension. Hands underneath the shoulders, elbows tucked in tight. So roll the marble forward and lengthen and lift. So don't push into your hands yet. You squeeze the glutes. So I feel that the muscles in my upper back being used here. Now I push into my hands. Fully extend my arms if you can. Chest out to the sun, shoulders down the back, pockets, cobra. And lengthen, lengthen, back to centre. Now everyone puts their hands underneath their shoulders and come into cat and cow. Those who struggle in cat who, and four point kneeling, I want you to do the same as us. We're doing leg pull. So you're going to lengthen and lift your head and sternum in one leg. You say lengthen and lift it, don't push into your palms. Soft point down, flex up. So can you see my head and shoulders are lengthened and lifted? And I soft point down, flex up. So you're going to do exactly the same as what we're doing in four point kneeling. Do five on one side, five on the other. Soft point down, flex up as you float up your head and sternum. So we're going to go straight into cow. Gently look up to the ceiling, pushing into your, um, sorry, uh, lift your chest up to the ceiling, push your chest through your arms, tailbone up to the ceiling. Gently look up to the ceiling, little spinal extension there. Round and curl, look at your belly button, push into your palms, squeeze your glutes, piece of springs, look, pulling you from the belly button to the spine of your belly button. One more cow, stick out your bottom, gently look up to the ceiling, push your chest through your arms, spinal extension. One more cat, push into your palms, squeeze your glutes, look at your belly button, piece of strings pulling you from the belly button to the spine. And back to four point kneeling. So we're doing leg pull today, with or without incorporating your arm, or some of you might want to incorporate your band. So make sure you're stacked, pull your belly button to the spine. You're going to lengthen and lift your left leg. Some of you are going to lengthen and lift your right arm, but you don't have to if you come forward a bit. Hip height, shoulder height if you can. Point down and flex up and lengthen through the hip joint. Flex up, lengthen through the hip joint, soft point down. You're going to do five either side, incorporating the arm only if you want to. Can you see I've lengthened and lifted my arm? 
and you choose if you want to use a resistance band. Once you've done your four to uh, your five, say four to five, swap over. So lengthen right leg, left arm only if you want to, take on tension the band. Point down, flex up. Lengthen through the hip joint, soft point down, flex up. Have a nice tight band if you're finding it way too easy. Point down, flex up. Soft point down, flex up. Once you've done your five, you're going to swap over. If you're really finding it too easy, I haven't done this for ages. If you're finding it too easy, you plank it. Don't stick out, don't dip your hips and don't stick up your bottom. Plank, flex up, soft point down. You're going to do five either side if you're finding it way too easy on your knees. So you choose the level that's good for you. I'm going to stick on my knees. So we lengthen, soft point down, flex up. Soft point down, flex up. Let's just do your final four on the other side with or without the resistance of the band. Lengthen through the hip joint, through the shoulder joint. Bowl a soup on your lumbar spine. So think about absolute stability. Just make it your final one and everyone comes into a child's pose. So your knees glue, glue your big toes together, knees mat width apart if you can, lengthen your arms forward. Push into your chest, walk your hands forward, now walk your hands over to 10, right hand sits on left, Really walk that right hand away so you do feel a nice deep stretch down the right side. Sit on your heels, push your chest into the mat. Walk your hands over to 12 and then walk your hands over to two. Left set, hand sits on right. Sit on your heels, push your chest into the mat. Keep on walking that left hand away that sat, up, sat on top of your right hand. Feel a nice deep stretch down the right side, walk back to 12. C curve your spine, C curve your spine, squeeze your glutes, come into another cat stretch, look at your belly button, push into your palms, squeeze your glutes, and back to four point kneeling. So we're going to do a thread the needle, incorporating the leg only if you want to. So make sure you're nice and stacked, pull your belly button to the spine. You lengthen your right arm up to the ceiling, pushing into the left hand, and then lengthen, lengthen the right arm back to centre. Keep the arm lengthened. When your right hand hits the floor, that's when you can thread your right underneath your left, push into the left hand, look underneath your left armpit, lovely deep stretch going across your shoulders there. Now, before you unthread, some of you may choose to lengthen your left leg out to the side as you open up, push into your left hand. Stay hips stacked over your knees, lengthen your arms away from each other, take on tension the band. You may have a weight in your hand if you want, and then lengthen, lengthen, lengthen back to center. Make sure you stack left arm out to the ceiling, up to the ceiling, push into the right. So you can come a little bit deeper, nice big rotational stretch there, opening your chest and lengthen, lengthen. Back to centre, keep length and take on tension of the band when you can really feel it in your waist there. Left hand, threads underneath right. Push into your right hand, look under your right shoulder. So I'm feeling a deep stretch across my shoulders there. Some of you, before you unthread, might want to lengthen your right leg out to the side as you unthread left. Push into your right hand so you can open up a little bit more and lengthen, lengthen lengthen back to center. We're going to all come to seated and we're going to slowly roll back. You know how this works, we're nearly there. So you choose if you want the, the, attempt, the, the assistance of the band, you might want a little cheek cushion, level one, two or three. So relax the feet and legs, lean back by an inch, tap in your pelvis, C curve your spine, Dip your chin to your chest. Roll down one vertebra at a time. Breathing. 
scoop the pelvis, try and hit every single vertebrae on the mat. We're not only really training our core, teaching our spine to be flexible. Breathe. When you come down to the mat, have your knees to your chest and rock from side to side, crossing your ankles, pulling your knees apart. Now you're going to take hold of your band. You're going to put the resistance band underneath the arch of your right foot. Left leg can be bent or lengthened depending on your flexibility. You push into your heel and hug the length of the leg to the chest. Now tee the left and try not to tug on the band as you lengthen and lift your left leg out to the side. Use your core, squeeze your glutes, pull your belly button to the spine. Bring a nice inner thigh stretch there. Lengthen the leg back to centre, band in the left, T the right, look in the opposite direction. Shoulders stay glued to the mat. Try not to tug on the band, I'm squeezing my glutes, lengthening my leg back to centre, and we swap over. Right leg can be bent or lengthened, push into your heel, hug the length and leg to the chest, T the right and lengthen the left leg out to the side. I'm not tugging on my band, so I'm squeezing my glutes, pulling my belly button to the spine. I'm using my core to lengthen and lift my leg out to the side. Try not to tug on that band. And lengthen my leg back to centre, band on the right, T the left. Look in the opposite direction, shoulders are always stay glued to the mat. And lengthen back to centre, drop the band. Left ankle on right thigh, hug the right knee into the chest, really relax that right foot. Remember, flex the left foot, flex the toes, really flex, takes pressure away from the knee, you can feel the deep stretch in the left glute. Now, don't, without dropping the right foot, some of you might want to come with me and tee your arms. And now I'm using my core to keep my right knee hugged to my chest. And I'm still feeling the stretch of my left glute, layering the exercise. Right foot comes down, we swap over. Right ankle on left thigh, hug the left knee into the chest, relax the left foot. Flex that right foot, flex those toes. Really feeling in that and feeling it in the right glute. Now, without dropping your foot, use your core to hug your left knee to your chest as you tee your arms. This is a progression. You don't have to do this, but breathe. Left foot comes to the floor, right foot comes to the floor. You remove your block and then you put the ball underneath your head. So we're going to press into the ball for eight to release tension you hold in the head, neck and shoulders. But remember, it's a chin tuck, so it's a double chin and you breathe. So take a breath in as you breathe out, push. Double chin, breathe. And relax. And again, take a breath in as you breathe out, push, double chin. Breathe. And release. And one more. Take a breath in, so you breathe out, push, double chin. And release. Now just gently rock, roll your head from left to right and use the ball to deepen the stretch in the muscles in your neck. Gently rolling your left, your head from left to right, breathing, focusing on your breath. And back to centre. Just breathe, focus on your breath. And when you're ready, you're going to gently roll yourself to the side, breathing continuously. Slowly, slowly, because you don't want to head rush, all the blood's going to the bottom of your body now. So slowly, slowly, and you sit on your block, just do the version of the mermaid, breathing, lengthen up, 
You're going to lengthen your left arm up to the ceiling next to your ear. You're going to glide out your right arm. Lengthen, lengthen, deep stretch in the waist there. Pull your belly button to the spine. Now you lengthen that arm diagonally across as you look underneath your right armpit. Lengthen, nice deep stretch across the shoulders. Back to your waist. Remember, try not to push into the right hand. Pull your belly button to the spine. Lengthen and use your core to bring yourself back to centre. So you're really working out your core there. So your waist, good waist trimmer. So I glide out my left, lengthen, the pull bar piece of string, never let all the weights in your seat bones, don't let the weight come out your seat bones. Lengthen your arm diagonally across, really lengthen as you look underneath your left armpit, back to your waist, don't come off your seat bones, really push into those seat bones. Rather than pushing into your left hand, pull your belly button to the spine and lengthen and use your core to lengthen back to centre. So really still working your waist. You're going to come to four point kneeling. You're tucking your toes under, Pilates stance if you can. Pushing into your heels, tailbone up to the ceiling. The more my tailbone comes up to the ceiling, the more I can stick my head on, the seat, on my toes. Let the top of your body hang, squeeze your glutes. Roll up one vertebrae at a time. Squeeze your glutes, pull your belly button to the spine and roll up one vertebrae at a time. And back to centre. Lengthen out your arms, palms up to the ceiling, hold on to your shoulders and start circling. Squeezing your shoulder blades together and circle in the opposite direction. Only if you want to, tiptoes. Squeeze the glutes, pull your belly button to the spine. And back to centre, lengthen up. And thank you.